I'm a director of the Chain of Hope Jamaica um, and I'm also a member of the Medical Board of Chain of Hope. I have been here at Bustamante for the last two years. The whole purpose of Chain of Hope Jamaica is to create a sustainable cardiac program here at Bustamante Children's Hospital. Uh, I got involved with the Chain of Hope and it was almost out of uh, uh, insight into seeing the missions coming to Jamaica for many years as I became chairman of the board in 2006. In terms of training our staff, we just have two young brilliant minds of uh, professionals coming back to Jamaica after Train of Hope has given them uh, training in UK. I'm Cleopatra Patterson. I'm a doctor here at the Bustamante Children's Hospital. I am Jamaican. I did all my training here in Jamaica, except for the past two years or two and a half years that I spent in London. I'm learning cardiac anesthesia and cardiac intensive care for both adults and children. And I do recognize that there's a need in Jamaica for my skills. That's why I have come back home. Cardiac disease is a big burden here. Um, it is disabling many children and continues to disable even more per year. Yeah, I'm, I'm Nigel Parks and my son is Stephen Parks, who is a heart patient. Um, he suffered from um, a valve that affects his heart. He cannot walk for long, uh, run for long. Whenever he runs, he gets tired, short of breath. He always loved to play football. And you know, with the heart problem, he won't get far. But now that he's demanded, he can really achieve what he needs. Uh, my name is Meg Diaku. I'm a heart surgeon and the president founder of the Chain of Hope. I personally have been coming to this island to help with establishing uh, these services for over 40 years. Professor Howard Spencer. Um, uh, my relationship with Professor Yaku has gone back many years and we developed quite a great relationship. He has been a wonderful mentor. Of course, our challenge was always the available resources because uh, cardiac surgery is and still is very expensive. Sir Magdi was always coming to our rescue. He brought other valves that we, and left these valves with us. He will bring open heart surgery equipment, such as the pump, oxygenators, and really this was a significant contribution to building the service in Jamaica. surgery at Friday at midday and I, they put the mask over my face and put me to sleep and give me a rela relaxer so that I am relaxed and don't feel anything and then they open my chest and they cut the chest plate and fix the heart and then they fix it up and then they Stitch it up back together, and then I went into the ICU for a day. And I come out that Saturday out of the ICU, and I am looking to go home. And at Monday, they said that might be I go home on Monday morning, and I am really glad that the surgeon has fixed my heart for me so I can play a lot better and 
don't get tired really easy again. And I'm really happy that they help us all. Training uh, local uh, physicians, nurses, technicians, uh, and administrators to have a sustainable service in the future. And now we are at a very critical stage in the development of uh, this project, uh, which aims at offering uh, humanitarian services at the very highest level uh, to children uh, of Jamaica and hopefully uh, to the Caribbean. I'm very grateful for the Chain of Hope, from the people from Chain of Hope. And trust me, I'm really grateful that they came down here and gave my daughter this beautiful surgery. And I pray God blessing upon them. Thank you. When Chain of Hope establishes a center here, then this will allow more of our patients, more of our children, to have complex heart surgery. There is now plans for building a dedicated heart center and it needs uh, massive collaboration between different groups of people who are stakeholders and partners. Uh, we should work together to achieve uh, this uh, wonderful objective. Patricia Allen, I'm referred to as Lady Allen. I'm patron for Chain of Hope Jamaica. From a nursing perspective, I'm thinking that we're going to need about 50 million. And the idea came to me that if we had a walkathon and ask Usain Bolt to be a part of it, we could get people out and we could make the money. I will be the person to contact Usain and get that part of it, but to the organization of our run, I know nothing about it. I won't be able to help you. We had over 16,000 persons out. It brought home to me the fact that as a people, when we unite, we can do great things. What was fascinating was seeing this, the, the different corporate groups, the different t-shirts, the design, but the aim was all save a heart, help Bustamante Hospital. Well, today is to raise money for the Chain of Hope Foundation uh, for bypass for the kids, hard bypass for the kids. Uh, for me, it was an honor when Lady Allen uh, approached me to ask me to, to be a part of this to help out. And it was fun. I came out today. It was a lot of fun. It was a lot of people. Uh, they really enjoyed it. So it was a good success. For me, initially, the message would be just thanks uh, for all the support and uh, hopefully next year you guys will come out in even more and donate more and just to continue to work hard and to try to help the kids because it's for a good cause. Hi, uh, this is Shaggy and we're here at the Boston Manta Hospital for Children. I'd just like to say it is an honor to have Chain of Hope. You know, they do a lot of incredible work here with children, um, especially in the, the, in the field of cardiac. Just the way they sit down and, and, and do all the uh, surgery on these little, these little babies. I, you know, I sit out here and see you know, some of our mothers and what the mothers do and how they're all worried. I, I, I walk and I look at them and I say, you know, hey, you couldn't be in better hands. These guys are, are pros at it. You know, I was um, privileged enough to sit in on one of the, um, the surgeries. I was amazed 
at you know how easy they make it look. And um, it's one of those situations that totally humbles you. On behalf of Chain of Hope, I give them my respect and salute. And Bustamante Hospital for Children, definitely the closest thing to my heart. So they're definitely a part of our family. Thanks.